Today, we're going to be checking out an incredible car transformation from the Restoration Channel. A model car that looks like this is miraculously transformed. To see how it looks, make sure you stick around to the end because it's incredible. If you're watching right now and you want to one day own a Lamborghini, hit the thumbs up button and some good luck will head your way. Someone watching this video will one day own a Lambo. And don't forget, whilst you're down there, hit subscribe. Come join this channel. It's totally free. Apparently, this guy owns loads of completely destroyed cars. We've got wheels. We've got doors. We've got... I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it looks old, it looks rusty, it looks terrible, but where's the Lamborghini? It's definitely not that. It's definitely not that. Jeez, are you telling me this guy actually manages to turn even these cars into something that looks good? That thing actually has nice doors and that's it. Oh, look at that. Now that is looking like a Lamborghini to me, ladies and gentlemen. But look at it. It is utterly destroyed. Originally had green paint, obviously. That's gone. The tires are coming off. The wheels look broken. There isn't even any exhaust on the back. This thing is completely uh, wrecked. If anybody saw this in front of them, they put it in the bin. This guy, however, is going to do something incredible. You have to stick around to see this. First things first, obviously, imagine you're a car mechanic. Every single part needs to come out so we can start building it back up from the ground upwards using original parts to make it look good. You know what? The base of the car doesn't look too bad there, but I'm seeing sand. I'm seeing rust. I'm seeing dirt. Look at his gloves. They're already completely covered in oranges. It's as if someone's eaten a box of Cheetos and then gone ahead and played with the car and left it in the sand for three years. If you guys have a favorite car, let me know what it is down below in the comment section. I gotta admit, the Lamborghini Huracan, I believe this is the spider version, actually is a beautiful looking car. And oh my gosh, it's even worse on the inside somehow. I wonder how he even finds these cars. Does he destroy them himself? Does he go and find them in someone's trash? Either way, this guy is super talented and I can't wait to see what he's going to turn out as. Which colour will the Lambo be? How will it look at the end? Can he possibly make it look good? Oh my gosh, there's so many tiny bits that are coming out. One of the most important things here is that it could be rusty. It could look like it's covered in Cheetos. But as long as it isn't broken, I think we're in with a good chance here of at least being able to make it look good at the end. If a part of it is broken and not working, I think we may have to get some new parts, people. Otherwise, I don't know how it's going to all go back together. We've got the mainframe of the car, the alloys, the tires, the underside, the steering wheel, the front lights. Look at this. This thing here is a complete piece of junk. No way he restores that, surely. What color would you turn a Lamborghini? Let me know down below. I'm thinking orange, yellow. This guy's <laughs> covering it in salt or something. Oh my gosh, what's going on? This toothbrush cleaning mechanism looks like it's cleaned many a broken car before because the brushes look just as orange as the color of the wall i mean oh some parts are metal okay so it's actually a decent toy to be fair this thing's not like a piece piece of plastic it's actually got some metal parts in it as well there's still definitely some green on there as well some excess paint you can't paint over that otherwise it will just look awful it's gotta come off what is is this some sort of cleaning glue oh what look what it's done to it it's like completely gunkified it it's like some sort of poison has eaten away at all of the excess paint and that is definitely coming off and oh it's looking good already oh this guy i wonder if he does real car restoration in real life because this guy's got all of the equipment you'd see somebody use to, like, buffer out a real car. But for a toy car, look at this. He's, like, smoothing out all the metal, giving it a proper clean down. You just know this is going to look incredible. Oh, is, it, is this paint time? Is this paint time? Is it going silver? It's going to be an oddly satisfying video at this point. Okay, it's going gray. But here's what I reckon. I think it's, like, a base coat of, like, gray. You know what I mean? Set the base color, paint on top of it. This looks so satisfied. I want to. I want to restore a toy car now. This looks awesome. Oh, anyone spot that? There was a little bit of green on the inside of the car that he missed. We saw it. Did you? I thought it looked good before. It's looking even better now. We've got the front bit covered in grey. We've got the main bit covered in grey. Now he's watering it, sanding it down. 
She's just as I think it looks fine. He ain't happy with it. You know this guy's a professional restorator when he's going ahead and sanding down something that already looks great. Oh, we may have just had the color confirmation, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, a bit of red in there as well? This, this guy's like creating Lamborghini official colors at this point. He's not just taking base yellow. He's turning it into a deep sunset yellow. Oh my gosh. This is so satisfying. Mustn't be easy to like evenly coat and, co uh, and color the whole of a car. There's a lot of nooks and crannies he's got to get into here. And you know what? We're going to give him a restoration rating at the end. What restoration rating will we give him out of 10? Will he paint everything? Will he miss any nook or crannies? Will there be any green still showable at the end? I mean, I doubt it. This guy's absolutely killing it. But we must wait until the end to find out how would this Lamborghini car come out. Oh, this bit's going black. Ooh. Black accents with a yellow base color. Nice. Surely that's not water. Surely that's that's something more scientific than just water. Why is he soaking it? This has got to be like some sort of glue or maybe like a shine. Like, look at look how much it's shining. It looks less like matte yellow and more like... Whoa! <gasps> Bro! It looks unreal. He like coated it like a sheen of glossy epicness. Oh no. I forgot how bad it looked at the beginning. Back comes the cleaning salt. <laughs> We've got a lot more to go, guys. The journey's only halfway done. Look at all that disgusting water. Wait. How how does that look so good already? You kidding me? Even the did you guys look at that? That even the Lamborghini logo is still like perfect silver. Starting to wonder if this guy destroyed the car himself just so he could restore it for video. Hmm, what do you reckon? Oh, wait, that's the old tire? What the heck is this thing? I thought that was the car in the background. It's some sort of cleaning device. Oh, it's like, like a belt sander kind of like cleaner thing. Wait, is that how much dirt came off it? What? Oh, wait, what? He's putting soil back on it. I'm telling you. Somebody asked me to go ahead and clean the car, do it completely wrong. Oh, it's kind of like, um, I think what you put on like your shoes for school and stuff, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, no, bro, he's literally putting it on as like the inside material of the car. I think he went ahead and painted the silver Lamborghini uh, like lettering himself because he went and put some silver details on there. I'm on to you. I know your secrets. I think it's meant to be like a carpet in the car. I think that's the idea. Yellow seats. I don't think he... I think this was like the original yellow. I think the outside of a car is more of that sunset -y yellow. But boy, it's looking like a car that I could go ahead and sit in, even though it's like a million times too small for me. It looks so comfy. Look at the finesse. Look at the detail of the silver Sharpie usage. Unreal. Is it even... Where did he get that from? He's even got a Lamborghini dial. Like sticker to put back on and then on goes the lamborghini wheel as well oh boy you just know this is gonna look so good base is honestly looking absolutely fine i bet you it's not fine to him though trust me he's gonna do something with it it's all black alloys <laughs> if you ever have a choice ladies and gentlemen to get silver alloys or black alloys 99 percent of the time hit them black alloys because it looks good oh my gosh just as you think everything's absolutely fine and looking beautiful he's got more cleaning to do the heck is that brown green goop going on here and why is there so much of it first he's heating it then he's popping it in the goop oh my gosh this guy's this guy's like wielding at the same time as cleaning how talented and multi-skilled is this guy the, wheel, the wheels look good i mean look at that clean running smoothly for my rating out of 10 it will need to include function beauty accuracy and this guy's looking like he's... Oh, wait, wait, that's cheating. I'm sorry, that's cheating. No, don't get me wrong, that would look great. But we've gone from this. Who remembers that bit there? Look at that, disgusting, destroyed. How has it suddenly turned to that? I need answers. I think he bought one. I'm just saying. Does that count as restoration if you're adding new parts in? I don't know. It's looking good though, isn't it, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, got some silver bits. The lights are looking clean. We got, again, where has this come from? Where has this come from? 
I mean, it's fitting in great. The colors are looking great, but I, I don't have any proof of restoration for that part, I don't think. It's almost complete. It's looking good. Black bumpers. This guy's gone for a really good color breakdown here. Can't even knock it. If this was on a real Lambo, you definitely look twice and be like, damn, that's a good looking Lambo. Red lights going in as well. Wait, the exhaust. I, you remember at the beginning I said there was no exhaust? So where on earth has that come from? I mean, the exhaust are looking clean, don't get me wrong. Side windows are going back in. This is like oddly satisfying. Everything just clicking in. In goes the wheels. Bish bash bosh. Everything fits in perfectly. That's incredible. The side lights as well. Those, those side mirrors don't have any glass or reflectiveness in them. It's just a bit of plastic. Will he, will he fix that? Oh, the door's shutting. There's the bottom. It's about to be complete. Look at this. Oh, incredible. Don't forget to fix it all together. What should we give him out of 10, ladies and gentlemen? Number one, the colors have improved. The wheel color has improved. He made his own custom paint. I'm not seeing any green for... Oh, he did. Bam. He put in the mirrors. I was about to knock him down for that. I don't know where the extra bits of plastic or the exhaust came from. I feel like you had to get another set to bring those bits in. But this is an incredible 9.3 out of... No, 9.5 out of 10. I'm going to have to give it to him. Guys, what do you think from this to this? What an incredible transformation. The Restoration Channel, it's incredible. I'll leave a link to his videos down below in the description. Or you can check out more videos on screen here. Click your favorites. Keep on watching. That was awesome.